guys, today we're doing a little bit of a ZDPS monk build. Now, ZDPS monk, what are you talking about? Well, <laughs> funny, funny. I have a lot of toughness, as you can see. Which, you will take damage, but not all the time, because, of course, ZDPS is keeping everybody stunned, so nobody takes damage. So, the basic premise of the build is um, to keep everything frozen. You know, it doesn't sound very impressive, but eh, bear with me. So, of course, I have my two cold spells and the rest are defensive. So you're going to be doing this and this every now and then and this. So this is... You're going to be moving while you're doing this. So it's definitely... You have to keep track of what you're doing. So, first skill we have is Fist of Thunder Wind Blast to keep enemies frozen for around two seconds. So you don't have to deal with them. And then you have Cyclone Strike Wall of Wind to stun them as well. So after they're not frozen with this, you use Cyclone Strike. So you're going to, so of course you do this, and this. And then this again, yeah, it, it is definitely keeping track of that, those two skills plus your um, other skills, which you'll have to keep a lot of spirit up, which is why we're using Exalted Soul. So, we have those two main skills. The next one is Epiphany Desert Shroud, obviously. So, with that, you get 50% reduced. Uh, Reduce damage taken. And you have Breath of Heaven Circle of Life. Now, it's not the best skill, I will say this. But I took it because I knew it would help the, help any group that I'm in. Within, like, I think it's a 30 yard, 12 yard radius. So, if I can get, if I get in a melee group, then this is, the, if you get in a melee group, always use Breath of Heaven Circle of Life. If you're not in a melee group, use Blinding Flash or Inner Sanctuary. So, the next one is Serenity Tranquility. Now, it protects allies within 45 yards, so you can use this with any group. And it redirect, uh, removes control impairing effects and redirects up to 120,000 damage to you for 3 seconds. Perfect amount. And then the shield amount is increased by 40%. So you get a lot of resistance. So f so far you've got 90% re reduced uh, damage. And then you have S Mantra of Salvation Agility, which increases dodge chance. You could use that, or you could do Perseverance. It will give you a slightly bigger toughness boost, but it's not worth taking as you can see. Because with agility, I have more toughness. So, it is definitely worth taking agility over any other skill. So, that's the main skills. And now you have uh, passives. So, I'm using Exalted Soul. You don't have to use it if you have a lot. You could use Beacon of Utah, which I probably should be using. But I like Exalted Soul a little bit. We'll just keep that in there because, as you can see with Beacon of Utah, you get I get up to 46% cooldown reduction, which will help me. So use Beacon of Utah. I don't know why I had Exalted Soul. I didn't have a lot of spirit. So now you have Transcendence. Now this is kind of debatable. So I don't really know. I was thinking of this or. Momentum or near death experience, but I chose transcendence because you're spending a lot of spirit with this So I prefer it, but you can use anything it, it, the skills are very interchangeable except for these two Because those are the most important percent of your single ele elemental resistances from items instead of increase all resistance so 40% of Like resistance to fire or lightning resistance is put into all res, so that's good. And then you have reduced all non-physical damage taken by 25% from six cents. 
So you're essentially reducing elemental damage taken, so you are a little liable to, slightly liable to physical damage, to uh, physical damage, because a lot of times you're taking more, but that's the basic outline of the build gear. Gear is very important. Now I'm, I haven't been able to reroll, so you have your borns set. I don't have a Rorik, so I had to use the weapon, but I have most, like, I had decent rolls on most of them, so I wasn't really worried about it. And, yeah, so, you can have a hollowed. I was trying to get a two set, but you, if you want to use another hollowed weapon here, instead of the borns, if you have the Rorg, it will help a lot. As you can see, um, yeah, my phone is just wrong. I don't care. Um, yeah, so that's basically the idea of the build. So you're going to want Captain Crimson's Borns and Hollowed. But I don't have the Hollowed because I chose to use the Borns weapon. But that's okay. So, yeah. So with this you should have around 912,000. And when you have all your buffs, you don't get any health boost. But you get around 70 million toughness. And you want to use this all the time. While using all of your abilities so when epiphany runs out with that we have around 39 million so around 40 million toughness so i'm gonna show you how it works um, i guess hog is holds of agony level one we'll say so we're gonna you're not gonna get any damage you're just gonna get some freezing a lot of freezing i'm in master difficulty but as you can see it's pretty much a perma freeze But yeah, the people are dying because I'm in master difficulty. I could probably do T6. We'll, we'll uh, switch it to T6. As you can see, I take no damage. So, yeah. Blocking and dodging and all that. So, I take a little bit of damage. What? Uh, so, we're going to run into T6. Because that's simply easier. Well, it's not easier, but it definitely... It'll have a better display of what we're doing. So, yeah. Pretty much the basic idea of the build. So this is normally starter. If you have, if you already have the sets, it's definitely good to use them. So, we'll go back into Holds of Agony level 1. And we're going to be in a different spot. And we don't care. I didn't do any of the campaign. Nobody does the campaign anymore. Alright, so as you can see, like, I'm doing potato damage right now. Potato. So, I'm not doing any damage, but I am keeping them away from... I'm keeping them frozen, which is always really nice. So you want to keep them frozen all the time, so you always want to be using your... Cyclone Strike. And I'm taking no damage because they're already they're all frozen. And if you do take damage, you have your Breath of Heaven that you can use. So it's always it's a very good build, a very Z, good ZDPS. And I'm doing no damage to them. Well, I've done a little bit of damage to them, but that's definitely okay. If you wanted to, instead of taking Beacon of Utah, if you had already 50% from your gear, you could use, um, I'd say, Alacrity or Seize the Initiative. Seize the Initiative probably wouldn't be as better because they're always low on health. As you can see, the ZDPS is very good. I do a little bit of damage. I'm surprised I did damage to them. But that's that's... That, that's not really the point. We're not trying to do damage. We're trying to keep damage from the other group members. And this works very well. Now we're going to town portal if we can. Oh, really? 
skadoosh. I'm just gonna take a waypoint. And you have that, and plus your potion. So, with all the resistances I have, so you can probably hear my mouse clicking away, see if I can kill these people. Uh, yeah, so that's the build. Or just let them kill me. They did a lot of damage to me. But with Serenity up a lot and your Mantra of Salvation, they won't kill you if you're optimal. It's not completely optimal, but it is very optimal. I haven't been able to enchant because I have no crafting materials. Alright, so that was the build. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, so let me know in the comments if this helped you. And if it did, Leave a like, maybe subscribe, and I'll see you next time.